How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you guys? Good. First impressions of the first day? What do you think? Well, I'm just happy to be out here. You know, it's, it's always a blessing to play the game of football. Um, you know, it's a, a shared uh, love for the, for the game amongst all of us. So I'm just happy and blessed to be out here. A uh, new coordinator this year. I mean, what would have been your first impressions on, on how he's, you know, kind of led you guys and, and what are you guys still uh, trying to put together? Yeah, so uh, new coordinator, but we, we still got the same goals and aspirations going into the same in, into the year. Um, it's just another opportunity to learn from, you know, another uh, well coach or a good coach coming from the league, coming from the Ravens. So he knows the game inside and out. So I'm just looking forward to just picking his brain throughout the year. Would you say the scheme similar compared to what you've been running? Yes, same. It is very similar to what we what we've been running. So, but you know, we're, it's an easy transition going into this new defense. All the same terminology. Did he come in, change some things, or are you using the same terminology? I mean, coaches always come in and they bring in new things here and there just to um, kind of implement into our defense to play towards uh, the player's strength. So. Of course, there's always going to be new terminology. So, but yeah, we're, we're kind of adapting and changing to that. But other than that, scheme-wise, everything's you know similar, still staying the same. Is there anything to, to him kind of being a, a younger guy? You know, do you felt a little bit of a different attitude with that, or just you know able to maybe relate to to, to him and his experience a little bit more? Um, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, him being a younger coach, just um, just bring a new perspective of the game I would say just uh, you know learning from from guys that's been been around and just him adapting to the game kind of brings a new like I said perspective and him learning from him is, is just an, another great opportunity and we're really looking forward to you know just being with him throughout the year what would you say is, sorry, what would you say is just unique about that perspective or anything specific that, that he's brought from you know last year with the Ravens or his time there that taken away so far uh, well obviously he just came from the the league so he has the the league knowledge that we're all thriving all of us out here all the players are thriving to you know to play in the league and you know just play live all our dreams and so he he's been there and done that already so him coming here uh just being able to to learn from him and pick his brain on and just uh being able to gain more knowledge from of the game and and from coach coach lynn is just an awesome experience what's his personality like he, he's a great coach, but he's an even better person. Just just talking to him every day and just being in the meeting rooms. He, he's a good good person. Uh, and yeah, generous dude. Coming off last season, what do you think? What are some of the aspects that you think you need to improve in your game? Um, I, I think there, there's always there's always things to get better on every year. And uh, this year, I, I've been just you know focusing on being a better leader, but. Um, like the minute focusing on minute de details like uh, tackling you know getting faster lateral speed things like that so uh, I really I've been just focusing on really my speed this off season, trying to get faster being more um, explosive uh, yeah just think like that. as a group what do you think the inside linebackers what do you want to see what kind of progress you want to see from your whole group um, uh, something coach Norton always tells us is to just always be in command of our information uh, just knowing the defense inside and out being inside linebackers you you pretty much like the quarterback of the defense so you have to be able to set up your set up your linemen you know make sure everyone's in the right uh, coverage doing the right coverage just knowing the right plays and uh, you know we're, we're the tacklers you know we got to make the tackles every play and you know just really depend on each other and just be, just be the role models and leaders of the defense. What have you seen from some of the newer guys, you know, Ode Ho and, and, and anyone else? Anyone who's yeah. made a strong impression on you? Yeah, so they actually have, uh, being able to see, uh, we got new guys. We got Monet, uh, we got Femi, we got, who else we got? We got Trey. So just new additions to our team to just, you know, add a little rotation, to, uh, just, yeah, rotation to our, our little system that we got going on. Just being able to add more bodies to our, our room is just, you know, it's nice to see um, just more potential. You know, we, we got the younger guys, obviously. We got Monet and, and Trey, for both freshmen enrolling early. So they both look good, you know. They, they're both from well coached where they've came from, and it's nice to, for them to get uh, their first uh, college collegiate 
uh, football practice under their belt. So it, I'm really excited to see their um, progress throughout the year. So you've been coached by uh, Coach Norton now for a year. Talk a little bit about impact he's made on you, how he's developed your game. Yeah, so Coach Norton, he's one of the greats around here, but also in the league too. He's been there and done it, like I said, with, with Coach Lynn. So just being able to have um, guys that's been in the league come here and just share their knowledge of the game is just really great. But um, some of the things that, that really stuck with me is just like, um, you know, really being a physical linebacker, but also having the instinctive play. Uh, you know, he always uh, talks about guys that he coached up, like he coached up, uh, what he, co he coached up Clay Matthews, guys like uh, that. He'd been around Troy Palomalu, he'd been around, you know, just great linebackers and great defensive players that um, he always relates to it. He brings up, he mentions in our, uh, in our meeting rooms that, you know, I always strive to be like, like, like those guys are my role models. So he always mentions like little things and minute details that he's able to, um, you know, he wants to add to our game and my game. So I always try my best to just implement that to my game. As a defensive guy, what have been some of your impressions of uh, some of the quarterbacks, Dante, Colin, some of the new guys like that? There's gonna be some competition for that for that uh, QB one spot. You know, it's not nothing's you know set in stone yet. We also we got some great quarterbacks. We got Garbage. We got Dante. You know, we got um, we got we got a lot of potential in that in that quarterback room. So I'm really looking forward to go going and uh, getting after it against those guys, competing every day. As far as traits Dante has, is there anything that immediately jumps out to you that you know he seems maybe more advanced for his age or anything like that? Um, I would say he's, he's a smart, smart quarterback. He makes uh, smart decisions. Just being in this short time that we we're able to go against him, you know, in the winter season or like winter off season, and then out here the, on the first day, you know, just competing against him. He he makes smart decisions. He doesn't put the ball in bad places, and uh, he knows where to, where he wants to go with it. Anything that stands out just with his attitude, you know, coming in being a, a freshman, anything specific, you know, with, with him there. Very humble guy, you know. He doesn't come in here being cocky or and anything like that. He's, you know, he's an easy, easy guy to talk to and very smart and uh, intellectual dude.